Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about viruses and subviral particles. Before we get into this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as this helps us out a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. Viruses are small infectious agents that consist of genetic material, either DNA or RNA. The genetic material is enclosed in a protein coat called the capsid. Viruses are considered obligate intracellular parasites as they only can replicate inside a host cell. This is because viruses lack the cellular machinery necessary for replication. So, they hijack the machinery of the host cell to reproduce and assemble new viral particles. This process can lead to various diseases in humans and animals or even plants. Examples are HIV, influenza, and SARS-CoV-2, which is responsible for COVID-19. The structure of viruses varies, but they all share some common components. The genetic material inside the virus can be single-stranded, double-stranded, linear, or circular. Some viruses also have an outer envelope derived from the host cell's membrane. This envelope can help the virus evade the host's immune system and facilitate entry to the target cells. The replication cycle of viruses typically involves several steps. These include attachment and entry into the host cell, replication of viral genetic materials, assembly of new viral particles, and release from the host cells to infect other cells. Viruses exhibit different replication strategies based on their genetic material. For DNA viruses, the viral DNA is transcribed into mRNA, that is messenger RNA, and then these are translated to create viral proteins. For RNA viruses, the RNA is directly used as an mRNA for protein synthesis. Subviral particles are different from viruses. They are also known as subviral agents. They are smaller infectious agents that are structurally and functionally simpler than viruses. Unlike viruses, subviral particles do not have a complete viral genome required for replication. They depend on helper viruses or host cells to complete their life cycle. Subviral particles include viroids and prions. Viroids are small, circular RNA molecules that infect plants. They cause diseases by interfering with normal gene expression and protein synthesis in plant cells. Viroids can spread through infected plant materials, including seeds, cuttings, and pollen, and can lead to the reduced crop yields and economic losses in agriculture. Prions, on the other hand, are misfolded proteins associated with neurodegenerative diseases. Prion diseases such as Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease in humans and bovine spongiform encephalopathy in cows are characterized by accumulation of abnormal prion proteins in the brain. These misfolded proteins can induce other normal proteins to adopt the abnormal conformation leading to progressive degenerative brain function. And that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!